If you're seeking to boost your clarity in any decision you have been wanting to make or any situation that you're going through and you keep asking yourself, is this the right decision for me? Is this the right approach for me? Even is this the right path for me? I want you to go right now to my show notes because I have prepared a free and simple three questions framework for you to go through that by answering these questions, I promise you'll feel a lot more clear and you'll start creating fulfilling outcomes out of the decisions you're making. Just go right now or you can go to ybcoaching.com slash clarity. Enjoy the episode. Welcome to the With Clarity and Purpose podcast with your host, Janet Borrego. Each week, I bring you an inspiring person or message to empower you to live life on your terms so you can be who you want to be, do what you are meant to do, and have the life you deserve to have. We will provide you with practical and cutting edge approaches to continue getting clarity and direction on your path, mastering your mindset, and gaining confidence to tap into your inner wisdom so you can live on purpose. Happy New Year, everyone. It's 2022. We made it. I cannot believe we are in 2022. Time flew by. 2021, when I think about it, it was a year of a lot of growth for me. It was a year full of highlights and also a year full of lessons, of challenges. But maybe I'll do another podcast episode about that. Today is all about your intention for 2022. And this intention is really important because I want you this year to find and own your voice. When I say your voice, I mean I want you to start creating your own story at your own terms. I want you to start finding and owning your purpose, your direction, so you can be who you want to be. Do what you're meant to do and have the things you deserve to have, like I always say in the intro of this podcast. And that starts with knowing more about yourself, I guarantee you. Now, there are two moments in my life that have been the most fulfilling ones. The first one was to be able to provide financially for my mother and to be able to give back to my family in Cuba. And the second one was aligning my career to my purpose and helping others do the same. Now, this second one has been very important in my life because something that I've realized is that the more you learn about yourself and the more of a direction you have, the more you start aligning your life path, your career path to that direction. The more you start aligning to that direction, the more fulfillment you start feeling inside you, the more internal fulfillment you start feeling. And the more internal fulfillment you start feeling, the more you start thriving. I always tell my clients, the more you thrive, the more you align. And today's podcast is all about that intention, that specific intention of aligning with your purpose in 2022. Now, when we think of our jobs and our careers, we spend a third of our lifetimes in our jobs, okay? Why not make of that a fulfilling process? Why not make of that a process that we fully enjoy and we are learning and we are growing? We don't have to be miserable or even not enjoy what we do every single day for lots of hours, my friend. Sometimes we are in our comfort zone and sometimes in that comfort zone, we are uncomfortable. Has that happened to you? That you're in the comfort zone and you feel like, I mean, I feel great, it feels easy, but I'm uncomfortable. I feel like 
I want to expand and grow and go out of that comfort zone so I can truly feel that I'm making an impact on myself and others. I felt like that several times and even when I was growing in that comfort zone, I felt that there was something bigger for me out there that I needed to explore, that I needed to stretch myself. So if you're feeling uncomfortable in that comfort zone, why not be uncomfortable outside of that comfort zone where you're actually stretching and growing? I want you to really think about that because sometimes we start getting complacent within that comfort zone even though we are not comfortable anymore, okay? So I want you this year to truly stop playing small and to decide to stretch yourself, whatever that means to you. When I say that, I don't mean, oh my God, leave your job and start your dream career. What I mean is start gaining clarity right now on who you are, on who you want to be, on what your direction and purpose are, because why wait longer? I love one of the quotes that Buddha says, the problem is that we think we have time. This year was challenging for me, last year was challenging for me because I lost three people that were close to me. Two of them were family members. One of them, he was the role model of my whole life. One of them, which is the same one, my uncle. I mean, I literally, I am a coach. I know about meditating. I know about neurolinguistic programming. I know about reading books because of him. He made such an impact in my life and he passed away this year, last year because of cancer. And that was such an awakening moment for me because I, I realized how fragile and how temporary life is. So the fact that sometimes we delay our dreams or sometimes we delay ourselves gaining clarity, thinking that we have time, but the only time we have is right now. The only time we have is our present moment. So why not start growing right now? The third person that I didn't mention before was Cody's dad. He passed away, unfortunately, from COVID. So those were three losses in 2021 that truly made me reflect on life. And I want you to think of that, right? Because sometimes we think we have a long time and we don't know really we don't know so i want you to start acting right now why because i want you to be happy i want you to be fulfilled i truly want you to grow and stretch yourself because when that moment comes right that we are looking back in our lives one thing that i strive for me and my clients is for them to not look back and wish that something else could have happened I want you I, I want you to really reflect on that at the beginning of this year, 2022. And for that, I'm going to provide you a four steps framework. You know, I'm very, my background is engineering, even though I'm a coach right now. So I'm very like, I want to give you actionable steps, step-by-step -step frameworks that you can apply just right now after you finish listening to this podcast. So four steps framework, four. The first one is direction, and I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain each one of these. The first one is direction. The second one is prioritization. The third one is focus. And the fourth one is accountability. Now, the first one, direction. Something that I truly love and that has worked amazingly for me is setting a theme for the year. For example, last year for me in 2021, it was all about establishing the foundation of my business, of creating a business that long term is sustainable, even if short term is going to be challenging, right? But th having that long term vision when I'm creating my coaching, speaking and training business. So last year, my theme was establishing that foundation. This year, my theme is more about focusing on few things and do them really well and just surrendering. Hey, surrendering is something I'm truly working on, you know, because there are many things we don't have control of. 
The only thing we have control of is our mindset and the work and the effort we put in. Everything else just falls outside of our control, so we just gotta trust. So I'm working on that trust, on that surrendering piece of the equation. So again, direction. I want you to look in 2022, what is the theme for you? What is the theme based on who you are right now and who you want to be? What is that focus area, we can call it? So the theme, what is that theme? The second piece, based on that theme, what is the one thing? And I want you to commit to just one thing, okay? Not two, not three, I don't want you to be overwhelmed. What is the one thing that you commit to doing so you can align more with the person you want to become? What is the one thing? For me, is launching my digital course, okay? That is my one thing based on my theme of focusing on few things and do them really well. That is my one thing. So we covered, that's prioritization. We covered direction, which is a theme, prioritization, which is that one thing that you're gonna do, that you're gonna accomplish this year in 2022. The third one is focus. And focus, in this case, is all about having a visual reminder that reminds you every single day of that theme and that one thing. For me, it has been a vision board. So if you, right now, walk into my office, one of the first things that you're gonna see is my vision board and my planning and prioritization space. Those are the two main things that are in my walls, other than art. So you can create a vision board, you can create a huge sticky note in your computer. The method depends on you, but I want you to create this visual reminder that you see every single day, because my friend, it's going to happen. When you put the intention out there, you prioritize, you work towards that, and you focus, meaning that it's in your mind all the time, and you're focused on that direction, I promise, and I've seen it a million of times, it's going to happen. So we cover direction, prioritization, focus. The fourth one is really important, accountability, because sometimes we need that little push to get to where we want to be. Now, accountability, it's all about having someone, having someone or maybe more people, you know, an accountability group or even social media, having someone that is gonna maintain you accountable for the goals and promises you're making to yourself, particularly this one thing, that when you invest in this one thing, it's gonna have the highest return on investment, okay? I have right now, just to lead by example, I have one accountability partner and one accountability group, and I've found that immensely helpful. One of them is for my digital course, the one I'm creating, and the other one is for my general goals, the goals that I have every week, other than my planning and prioritization process that I follow every Sunday or Monday morning. Now, I want to read you something that I found um, in regards to accountability so you really can see the power of this with facts. When people know they are being held accountable by others for their actions, they will work harder. We actually do, right? That's why um, in jobs we have supervisors <laughs> because we work harder when we are being uh, accountable for our actions. Research shows that when someone publicly shares their goals, they have around a 65% chance of success. However, having a specific accountability partner boosts that chance to 95%. I love this um, because I've truly seen it on myself and others. Even me coaching my clients, a piece of coaching is actually accountability, right? Because Coaching is all about moving forward and bridging the gap between where you are and where you want to be. It's very future-oriented, right, for you to get there. I remember, now that I read like the social media piece, I remember when I was doing my 100 days meditation challenge, I actually posted in social media. And I was like, hi everyone, you know, for 100 days straight, I'm gonna meditate for 60 minutes every day. Sometimes it was like 20 or five when I didn't have time, but 
I'm gonna meditate every single day. And when I'm meditating, after I meditate, I'm gonna post a video just describing the insights that I got. And every single day in my Instagram account, you'll find a video for 100 days straight. And social media was a thing that kept me accountable. I'm like, I said I was gonna do that. And integrity is a piece, a very big piece of who I am. So I did it, 100 days, 100 videos. You can check it in social media. That was super powerful. And now I don't necessarily have that, but I have accountability partners. And I can tell you, when you share your goals with someone, um, one thing, share with someone you trust, okay? It is, I mean, it is such a huge help because you have that other person that keeps you accountable. Okay, you had the four steps, literally, this is what you, you want to do after this podcast, okay? Direction. What is your theme for this year? I want you to choose a theme. Again, mine this year is focus on few things, master them, and surrender. So focus, master, and surrender. That's my sequence. That's my theme. That's my focus area for this year. It can be very specific, and it can be a little bit high level, like mine. It depends. Mine is business focus. The second one is based on that theme, what is the one thing that you're going to focus that you want to achieve this year? Just one thing. The third one, create a visual reminder of that one thing of your theme. So you have it in front of you every single day. So it helps you focus on what you want to achieve. And the last one, accountability. Taking action is the important piece of this. I mean, you define your direction. And then getting there takes energy and effort. And having an accountability partner, I truly believe it will help you get there, my friends. Now, if you think, Janet, I got those four elements. I know who I'm going to reach out. I have my theme. I have my one thing. I'm going to build my visual reminder. And I need to get better with time management. I want you to check out one of my previous episodes. It's all about time management techniques, the one I utilize and the one I recommend all my clients. If time management is an issue for you, I want you to check out that episode, okay? Well, everyone, happy 2022. And I wish you a happy process of finding that voice and owning that voice in 2022. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening at With Clarity and Purpose. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Sharing is caring. Please share with your friends and family so we can continue building an empowered community together. I'll see you next week.